Welcome to grades. Explained. Question is, why does my grade drop so much when I don't do one assignment? I'm here to answer that question. So here's the short version of that question. So let's say you have two assignments, okay? One assignment, two assignments, right? And what the problem is right now, you did both of those assignments, you got 100 on both of those assignments. You gotta think of your grade like a bucket of water that you gotta fill up. Now you had 100, but because you didn't do that assignment, oh my goodness, guess what? You dropped 50% because you only had two assignments in the bucket. But what we know about grades is that it's never that simple. Oh my gosh, it's never that simple. What's more likely to happen is that you did one of your assignments and you did the second assignment, but you just ain't do it like all the way, right? You didn't give it your all. So we're gonna cut a little piece out of that other assignment. And what do you notice? You're probably like around at 80, 85% because you decided to slack off a little bit. That's a big chunk, that's a whole 15%, but you're like, I still gotta be, so I'm all right. The problem is, is y'all keep doing that. Let's look at a more accurate depiction, right? So you have your little bucket, that's your grade. There's four assignments. You got assignment number one, assignment number two, assignment number three, and assignment number four, right? At this point, each assignment is weighted evenly. Okay, so that means each assignment is worth about 25% of your grade. You did all of them perfectly, flawlessly. So right now, what happens is that you have 100 in the class. What if you decide not to do one of them? Oh, the 100 is gone, boom. What happens? You're automatically down to a 75%. Shame on you, because you decided to stay up one night and play 2K. Yeah, I know. Now, let's reset the whole thing again, okay? Because y'all are not just not doing assignments. Some of y'all are. What's likely happening is you're doing the first assignment perfectly. The second assignment, you probably just mess up a little bit. And then the third assignment, you mess up a little bit. And then the fourth assignment, you messed up a lot of it. Absolute trash on the fourth one. Look at all that empty space. What has to happen is I have to move all that empty space up and we're gonna see how far away we are from 100 now. Ooh, look at that. We're, we're, we're looking a little less than a 75. All of that accumulated is what's making that grade just, I know, shock, awe. Oh, all that empty space. You're crying, you're sad. All I did was mess up my assignment. But it adds up. One more time, I'm gonna come, we're gonna bring it all together now because you don't just have four assignments, right? You don't just have one category. What actually happens is y'all be having like three categories. You be having tests, you be having quizzes, and you be having classwork. I want you to pay attention to each of the assignments. You have 10 classwork assignments. You have uh, four quizzes and you have two tests. This is the whole quarter. The question often is, <laughs> I did my homework. Why didn't my grade change? Oh, if one more kid asks me this question. First of all, look at how tiny one homework assignment is compared to a test or a quiz. Look how tiny. Okay, that's the first thing. Number two, if you got 100 on all your homework assignments because of photo math, uh-huh, and you keep getting hundreds, that bucket is always gonna be full. It's not affecting your grade. If you stop doing your homework, it will affect the grade, but you need to keep filling, keep that bucket filled. But what you, when you're trying to change your grade and shift it, doing well in the category that you're always doing well in isn't gonna change anything. That's what I need y'all to understand. You need to be worried about these buckets out here that ain't full. Cause you struggle on tests, you struggle on quizzes, I understand, but this is what your grades be looking like. And when you're trying to shift the grade to get it higher, you need to put more water in the buckets that are empty. You need to stop being that kid that doesn't study for quizzes. You need to stop being that kid that walks in on test day and be like, oh my gosh, we have a test today? Stop being that person. That person is not gonna fill up these other buckets out here. So let's put all the buckets on top of each other, first of all, and then let's fill them all into the same glass because that's your grade. Let's take out all that white space. You see all that empty space? All that empty space is you not studying. Stop it and get some help. Yeah, get into, get into it. it. And those are grades. Hopefully now you get it because I explained it.